Welcome to Holy Mary's Blessing, the podcast ministry of True Parents Way. I'm Tyler Hendricks. Today, September 21st, is the United Nations International Day of Peace. That should be actually International Day of Marriage because the oneness of husband and wife in blessed marriage is the key to world peace. You know the unification slogan for our mass weddings is world peace through ideal families. Our true father, Reverend Sun Young Moon, called by Jesus, led by the Holy Spirit, and Bible-based, came up with that statement 50 years ago. And it was not truly understood by the world at that time, but today it is becoming more and more plain. The key to world peace is family peace. And the key to family peace is blessed marriage, is true marriage, is true oneness of husband and wife. Now let's talk about, just for a second, the oneness of husband and wife. Genesis 2 proclaims when Adam viewed Eve, or it says the man viewed the woman, that she was bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. So to me, I'd always wondered about that because bones and flesh are both material things. Does this mean that the woman is just a material being, bones and flesh? I wanted to think, no, the woman is one with the man, both physically and spiritually. But I didn't really have a foundation to to believe that in Father's words or in the Bible until this last week. And I read True Father's speech, which is a very long speech, and it's called History and Our Responsibility. And it was delivered on July 18th, of 1978. Our father's talking about the creation of the holy grounds around the world, and he says that uh, the foundation of the 430 couple blessing, father restored the earth, the soil, the ground, and the stone. He said, quote, that represents the inside and outside of human beings. The body is the soil, and the stone represents the bone which symbolizes the spirit of man. So bone is the spirit. Flesh of my flesh, the flesh is the, is the flesh, is the material side, the physical body. So when Adam said of Eve, that is the man said of the woman, she is my bone, the bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh, it means she is one body with me. She is body of my body. She is spirit of my spirit. We are one in flesh and one in spirit. Now I want to continue on that foundation to discuss Father's words about marriage in this speech, history and our responsibility. Again, it was delivered in England on July 18th of 1978. If you look for it, by the way, on tparents.org, you will find it uh, recorded as being having been given on July 16th. Maybe that's the case. The hard copy that I have says July 18th. And let me mention that the, the version that uh, is on tparents.org does not include the entire speech. It goes up to the point where Father had Colonel Hahn give a prayer. But then after the prayer, which is a very deep prayer, Um, finishes, Father continues for another 11 pages. And it's very, very deep, deep content. And I'm going to be sending my hard copy to the webmaster there at tparents.org so that we can get the entire transcript, um, you know, on on the website in the recorded history. Now, let me read. This is mostly going to be reading Father's words because the point is, again, International Day of peace should be 
an international day of marriage. Uh, Father explains what this means in this speech. And the way I summarize it is we need to beat our swords, not into plowshares, but into wedding rings. No marriage, no peace. Do you want to invest your life for world peace? Get married, stay married, and help others do the same. Now let me begin with uh, True Father's words. He says that, he, and, the, and the context is that Father uh, had just completed the matching, a blessing of 118 couples, many of whom were European and were from different uh, nations in Europe. And back then, you know, it was a big step for a French person to marry a German or an Italian to marry a Spaniard, etc. And uh, so Father was addressing this point of marriage and how important marriage is. And he said that, that marriage is indemnity on one level. It is indemnity for the sake of world salvation. And let me read True Father's words. Uh, it is indemnity, yes, but more specifically, what sort of indemnity is it? We must know that we do this by marriage. He's saying, we're, you know, the Unification Church is going to save the world through paying indemnity. And then he says, but what sort of indemnity? And then he says, the indemnity that is being paid by the Unification Church, we do it by marriage. You thought you were doing it by fundraising or by witnessing or many other things, and fasting, and that's, of course, very important but it's all a foundation for victory in marriage, the most vital, the most deep, eternal spiritual discipline is marriage. Ultimately, we do this indemnity by marriage. Then, he, then Father, Father continues, then why should we do that? We know very clearly why all these fences, the individual, the family, the clan fences came into being, centering around Satan. Centering around Satan, Adam and Eve got married, and the offspring got married, and the fam their family became bigger and bigger, and they all got married. There were lots of wrong marriages. Because they married outside the dispensation, all the barbed wire fences came into existence. So in order to take them away, we must go through the same process, only in the reverse way. If we get blessed, centering upon God, and make this marriage successful, we can take all the fences away. End of quote. And you're listening to Holy Marriage Blessing, the podcast ministry of True Parents Way. We'll be right back. Father brings out two things. One is we get blessed, centering upon God. Second is we make the marriage successful. Now the blessing from God is 95%. He gives us power. It gives us grace. It gives us the foundation. But the 5% is we make the marriage successful. And Father knows it's not easy. Okay, let me continue. In the satanic wor world, they get married any way they want to. They marry this one. They marry that one. If they want to marry, they marry. They have nothing to do with God. But we know one thing, that proper marriage at all times of history, even in the future, must be done only in the presence of parents and God. End of quote. So Father links parents and God. It means to be in the presence of God vertically you are in the presence of your parents horizontally. Hyojang, filial piety, is the foundation for success in marriage. In other words, you're not just marrying for your own sake, you're marrying for your parents in, in, the, in the presence of your ancestors. And you're, committed, you're making a commitment not just to that person to whom you're, you know, with whom you are marrying, but to all of your ancestors. And so it's a very serious step. And it brings peace, not just in the world horizontally, socially, but to spirit world. It unites your ancestors together of different races, nations, and religions. Hallelujah. Now I'll continue with Father's words about 
how difficult marriage can be. Quote, so we now see that this is the best way, marriage is the best way, to do away with all the barriers and ties that we, that we so often talk about. What the Unification Church is doing is employing the best method in the world to unite the whole world. In fact, this is the only way and the best way at the same time. If someone ties you back to back, not front to front with a rope, you are still able to love each other, to live the rest of your lives together. And the brothers and sisters laughed. So it means, in the end of quote, that Father is saying that we're so committed to our marriage that even if we don't even see each other, we're just tied together by a rope, back to back, we still stay together. We, we have that level of commitment to success in our marriages. Back to Father's words. If you marry such a strong partner, then the world will become united. When Father married you at the 118 couple's blessing, did you get married to a spouse of the same nationality? Or were you all somehow mixed up in an international marriage? It was an international marriage. Did Father think about that? Did Father plan that? Did Father think, oh, I'm going to marry everyone to an, in an international way? Did Father think that? Or did Father just make the best matches from the people here, not thinking what nationality they were? Because it's hard for Father to tell French from German or Austrian. It's absolutely impossible to tell. Do you think that every time Father matched a couple, he was conscious, oh, this is a German and that's an Austrian? No, it's absolutely impossible to tell. Father just made the best match. He didn't think of anything else. He just did the matching. And later he found out how many percent were international. And it was 97%. Even Father was surprised. They were all thoroughly mixed. But each couple who were internationally matched, did they say, well, I'm in trouble. How am I going to live? Because I don't know the language. I don't know the customs. Do you think, did you think in that way? Or did you have a natural head start from that moment? Did you think that you would have a lot of troubles and difficulties? Or were you happy and just accepted it? Father's topic this morning is what is our responsibility? Our responsibility is to do away with all the fences that surround us, all the barbed wire fences and bring everything into unity. And now, I'm going to take a little excursus here about what is called cultural Marxism or neo-Marxism and show how Father addressed that 30, 40 years ago. You're listening to Holy Marriage Blessing, the podcast ministry of True Parents Way. I'm Tyler Hendricks. Now, regarding cultural Marxism, neo-Marxism, uh, resist, deconstruct, what's going on in, in Western society these days, here's what Father said, and I quote, the world is separated into smaller and smaller detail. Okay, um, end of quote. That means I'm black, you're white, or I'm Hispanic, or I'm from Kenya, you're from Uganda, or I'm from Uruguay, you're from Paraguay, or I'm from Tennessee, you're from Oregon. Smaller and smaller detail. I'm from this side of the track, you're from the other side of the track. I'm a man, you're a woman. The world is separated into smaller and smaller detail. And, the, and, and we fight each other because I'm this and you're that. And it gets smaller and smaller, more and more granule until everybody's fighting everybody, protesting everybody, resisting everybody. So Father said, our purpose is, and God's purpose is, to bring everything into unity, doing away with all those fences, uniting everyone. That's our mission. So where is my land? Every part of this earth is our land. And which is my country? We have one country, and that is the heavenly country. Now get this. That one country, which is bound by the love of God, the love of marriage, and connected into one, this is our country. Marriage under God's law, God's love, this is our country. Let me read that again, and I quote, That one country, which is bound by the love of God, the love of marriage, and connected into one, this is our country, 
Marriage under God's law, God's love, you ought to have both, God's law and God's love, this is our country. He says, continuing, this is nobody's invention. Actually, the original human life was planned that way by God. Marriage centering around God, forming the family and individual under God. This was the original plan. We are just returning to that original way, finding that original country. End of quote. And now Father gets really deep. You know, that's kind of external, what he was talking about. Marriage, you know, as an institution that, you know, governments and religions support and uphold, the culture upholds, etc. But now Father gets starts to get a little bit spiritual. How does this all happen? And I quote, through the love of parents, God as parents. Everyone is connected to the blood of love from one origin. Among us, there is blood connected and it's connecting us, and the life itself is connecting us, and love is connecting us. We are born from it, born of it, so we must be proud of the fact we are now born again in life in the same blood lineage. We inherit love, and we are tied to heaven. End of quote. That's the ultimate source of our unity. And let me continue, quote, once we have that, then as long as we live, we can never let go. As long as I have life, I cannot drain my blood. I cannot drain my love out of myself. As long as I have that love, I cannot drain, you know, we can't drain these things. They are in us. They are what we are. I cannot give up my life. I cannot give up my love. I cannot give up my lineage. Therefore, we are one. You're listening to Holy Marriage Blessing, the podcast ministry of True Parents Way. And continuing with Father's words, God first created all things, and then he created man. Then after that, he will establish love. End of quote. Amazing. Father, God created all things, then he created human beings. And then based on that, his ultimate goal is to establish love. And how does he do that? He says, this is why we are bearing the cross of love, which is the heaviest of crosses. Marriage is bearing the cross of love. It is not happy in the ordinary sense, but once we marry, we find that marriage becomes a major task. It is the cross of love, more painful than the physical cross. This is the way that marriage is supposed to be. It's not unusual. Amazing. Father, Father says marriage is the cross of love. It's supposed to be that way. It's not unusual. So don't be surprised. We are entering into that. We are committing ourselves to that because God wants to establish love. And love requires commitment, giving and giving unconditionally to break down those fences Marriage is bearing the cross of love. So we go the way of Christ. We go the way of true parents. Bear that cross to create victory, victory, victory in our marriage. Then Father gives guidance to couples about the spiritual foundation to work through all of this. He says, in the Unification Church, what kind of cross are we bearing now? The cross of love. We tread this way with gratitude toward God because through us bearing the cross of love, the world will live. After three generations, everything will work out. End of quote. Father always thought beyond the horizon, beyond generations. Okay, back to this speech. After three generations, everything will work out. God can perform miracles everywhere as long as we successfully bear the cross. We will only know the impact of this, the full meaning, when we get to spirit world. Then we will go to the highest part, and everyone will respect us, guard us, love us. They will be proud of us. That's the whole meaning. We must realize that a unification church marriage is not just an ordinary marriage or a random marriage. It has every element of a worldly marriage pattern, even though it's not, aside, 
even though it's not ordinary, not random, it's very dispensational, but still it has every element of a worldly marriage pattern in it. All sorts of extreme examples of worldly marriages are represented by us and we must indemnify them. In other words, the pressures, the stresses, the difficulties that drive worldly couples to separate, we're going to experience those and we're going to go through it. That's the indemnity to save marriage and save this world. Quote, not everyone who is married in the Unification Church is a great person. In fact, they're not. They're not better than anyone in the world outside. But one thing is different. One thing excels over all the worldly marriages, and that is that they hold on to the will of God. And they say, your wife, your husband says, Father, die or live. I know I will go this way throughout my life and after my generations. That's what's different. That's the different point. And everything else is not different. Some people say, oh, this is a blessed child. This is a blessed couple. But actually, that has no meaning. Instead of that, they should say, oh, this is someone who is willing to do the will of God. We must respect that marriage and the children from that marriage as long as there is that devotion. We have to let the child remind us of that. And that's the only meaning. Don't think we're different because we're married. Don't think our children are different from other children just because we are blessed couples. No, it's because we are devoted to the will of God. That's the only difference in every other way. And I'm, this is me again, unquote. The only other way, we're the same as everybody else. The difference is that we're devoted to the will of God. And Father uh, concludes this section here. Uh, we have been meeting in a horizontal way, more or less, but once it starts developing through generation after generation of children, then it develops vertically, encompassing all added dimensions and all the spirit world. So again, thinking beyond generations. Quote, so our purpose in life is that we will live on like this, and we will live on as a good ancestor, other people die as bad ancestors, but we're going to become good ancestors. We are different only in that respect. You must understand that it is our responsibility in the Unification Church to live as good ancestors and die as good ancestors, keeping this blood tie of love, living to keep on bearing this cross of love. And you're listening to Holy Marriage Blessing, the podcast ministry of True Parents Way. We'll be right back. So to conclude this speech on this International Day of Peace, September 21st, 2017, which should be the International Day of Marriage, with True Father's words from the speech, 1978, July 18th, History and Our Responsibility. Now, Father's talking about home church and relates it to all of this. He says, you can descend as a Messiah to your own clan. When you broadcast on the television and radio stations, the people will watch this in their own home. This will have the same effect as if they were going to church. If they are sufficiently interested, they will be invited to come to the home church which is everywhere in their neighborhood, their town, so they can go to their home church. This is much better than the churches with the steeples. Then the purpose of religion is served, and the world will become one. And what is the connecting bond? It is the family unit. As Father explained, we are going to achieve unity, but through what? Marriage. This is Holy Marriage Blessing, the podcast ministry of True Parents Way. Our music is by Ronan Hardiman. 
I'm Tyler Hendricks. I hope to see you again next week. Love God, love your neighbor, and don't give up. Thanks for listening.